Good morning, chaps. I was a little bit tired this morning because I was up till midnight last night preparing the pub menu and uh, I didn't start editing the vlog until sort of, uh, what time would it have been? Yeah, 11.25, but a full day's charge for the car battery or an overnight charge for the car battery seems to have done the bloody key <laughs> seems to have done the trick you can hear it ticking over she's running I'll just get the bag yeah she's running like a dream so uh, Gemma can take the Peugeot to work and I can take the so a crazy mad rush this morning just to get mashed in straight away we didn't weigh the ingredients out yesterday so uh, we've got to do that first thing this morning we've got most of the pale malt in the tank Jack's just weighing out the Cara and the wheat malt for the vacant and I'm just about to go across here in our newfangled clinical clean space and uh, and weigh out the water treatment. out for today's brews that's a good thing what I'm gonna do is just pop this other battery on charge just in case that other one gives up the ghost so we never got full charge into it yesterday so I'm just gonna have a quick look exactly what we did get I think we're up to about 11 volts so well, she's holding at 11.3, so I think what we'll do is pop this back on charge for the rest of the day, because I do remember this being a relatively new battery. There's nothing on the top to tell me. I could get in there and have a look at the acid levels, but I don't know what's ever going to achieve. So we'll just charge her up. We'll leave her charging for the rest of the day. I'll tell you what time it is, but Jeremy's... Uh, Jeremy's stopped for some reason. Well, he's just stopped at quarter past two. So the actual time is 10.18. So let's take him off the wall. We'll put a new battery in Jezza. And then I've got a blind to put up in the cellar next door because people are using the beer garden now and you can seal the stock in there. So uh, it just looks a little neater, a little tidier if we get it covered up. So, uh, that's the next job! So we've got the blind up in the cellar and I'm going to come across here there's probably not enough room here for the camera to be honest and uh, we're going to address this section here we need to put some storage this is the old fire escape that doesn't work uh, that's been boarded up so we're going to put some shelves in across here and uh, anywhere else we can fit them really just so we can get all the stuff off the surface and up on shelves because behind you 
where we did have a shelf we've now lost this space so we need to put some more in So we've got the brew day finished, we've just got the caustic recirculating in the boil kettle now. Uh, we've taken a sample, tastes really quite good and we've hit the freaking numbers on the head. And uh, well you've just missed Froggy ladies and gentlemen, I wasn't quick enough to get the camera out. Look what he brought us, hey, what do they say, when you're brewing you have to drink a home brew or in this case a commercial brew. Oh. Cheers Froggy, in fact he's up in the brew shed with Sandra so I might just shoot up there and uh, spend 10 or 15 minutes with them before they go home or before I go home. Another day, another dollar, lights off, doors locked, let's see if this car starts because there ain't no guarantee. Chuck us that in the back mate and uh, I'll pop the doors. Oh. Are you going in? Yeah. <coughs> Are you, uh, what? You don't want to put padlock on? No, 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 I'm just going to put pan. It's just, you can lock your watch if it's built. No, it's alright. Yeah, buddy, ever done any camera work? Yeah. Jump in passenger side, let's see if this starts. Right. Jack's full time cameraman now. Oh, bollocks. It looks promising. Oh, she's alive. Right, let's shoot home. Kids arguing with Gemma. Leave them to it. So, I've got no beer or cider. Uh, keg kicked yesterday. That's what was in it. I actually got almost a pint and then uh, it kicked and the foam just went and blasted it all to kingdom come. So what I'm going to do is swap out uh, whatever is in there and pop one of these Cornelius kegs on. I'm not sure that one's empty. Aha. Uh -huh. Well there's no pressure in that. That's full and that's full. That needs to go back to work, that's empty. I don't know what beer is in either. So we're gonna play a bit of potluck and just pop any of them on. Oh, we'll go for the one that's got the pressure valve because then I can, uh, I can bleed off a little bit of the beer to remove any sediment that might be in the bottom of the tank and then I can roll it and put some carbonation in it if it's needed. I think one of them is a stout. And in here we have the gas, the cleaning pump, whatever else. We've still got new to homebrew Tom's name on here as well, but Abby now uses it as a as a chalkboard. And then in there we've got a couple of Oh, there's some beer in that one. So, let's see what's in there. We'll put the... 
we'll put the beer line on first and open the regulatory valve. There we go. Oh, it's black, whatever it is. Stoot! It's black stoot! So, we'll take that by the way. So I'll pop this other one in. We'll close the door. I may as well put the other one in as well, hadn't I? Well, at least we've got got some beers on tap. I'll put some gas on both of these as well to make sure that they are safe. Oh, I don't want to go on there. What's wrong with that? It does say gas, doesn't it? CO2. There we are. Bleed it. Yeah. Right. Let's get drinking the stout. Wow, look at the colour of that head, that is tan. So I've got the camera on a right precarious position here, I wouldn't normally do that. Uh, there's no carbonation in this whatsoever, but it actually smells quite nice. So let's try it. I'm no, I've no idea when we made this. Yes, thank you very much. I will be drinking stout tonight, folks, while I edit the vlog. So, yeah, I'm pleased with that. Needs a bit of carbonation, but it's nice as it is. Tastes very much like a cask ale. So, uh, we've got more brewing to do tomorrow. Yet again, more vacant gesture. So, make sure you tune in for tomorrow's vlog. And there's also a few other things that I made today which I forgot to put on the vlog. So, we'll do a little bit of a catch up tomorrow as well. We'll see you for that. Mm -hmm.